Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. When Kai Swiets traveled the globe in 91-92, he made a lot of pictures of displays shown with DCC products in stores. So we had a picture of this unit that we're going to show you here today. A couple of years ago, we couldn't believe that somebody had an almost complete display, European display for that matter, of the Philips DCC product. And today we're going to tell you a little bit more about it, because the good news is that in the new museum we finally have place to use this in its full capacity. We made a few changes, some things were incomplete, but today we're going to show you every detail about this. So the display was a package with on top a DCC recorder, a portable stereo, a regular analog compact cassette deck, and other pieces that some stores had, some stores would not have, like a CD player or an amplifier. On the side, and this is one of the modifications that we made, we put it on casters so we could easily move it around the museum. On the side there was a rack with DCC titles. This was originally in black and iron, but that was no longer included, so we had to reproduce it in wood and acrylic to make sure it matched the rest of the display. And on the other side, if we turn it over, you can see here that there's also a 822 DCC radio. So all components are there to basically do a comparison for the customer between analog cassette and DCC. We found the original brochures move on up to DCC and other, like I said, the casters and the side, this was pretty much complete. So it has three headsets. These were also not included, so we bought Philips later models to get the same idea. One headset is connected directly to the portable. One headset is connected directly to the car stereo. There's also electronics in there to give the car stereo 12 volts, etc. And one headset is connected to the DCC and the analog cassette player. And for that, they have included a very unique um, switch so you could actually play the DCC and the cassette at the same time and while flipping the switch you could either hear the DCC or yeah. the compact cassette for that matter. In the back we have left pretty much everything the way it was. You can remove the back panel And some modifications were done by Jorn Simonsma in the Netherlands because this is all 220 volt. So we had to do a 220 to 110 step down converter, especially for uh, the car electronics. Um, other than that, uh, the cabling is original. It gives you plenty of room to actually, you know, tie this up quite nicely. Now the cassette we use here for demonstration purposes is called the Digital versus Analog Cassette Challenge. It is not original to the system. We don't know exactly what they were using back then. This came out later, 1995. This is 1992, 1993. This uh, combination package that we're using actually came with a system called FW68. It's a mini system uh, by Philips 
that has a analog and a DCC player inside. Other than that, I don't think customers would be allowed to use this on their own since you have to toggle some switches. Uh, this is protected, I guess, against theft. So it would require a sales representative to actually demonstrate it, but you would get a fairly good idea of the quality of DCC. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Thank you.